Welcome to the very secret plan. Hi Elijah, hi everyone. Uh, my name is William Graham Stewart. Born in Scotland, but currently sitting on a sofa in Athens, in Greece. My work uh, is and has been for over a decade, The Game of Now. That's The Game of Now, which brings together two very well-known concepts. One is now, and the other is game. So many people now have heard of this whole, the power of now, being in the now, staying here and now, being present. And there's a lot of confusion about this. And I'll come to that later. But uh, game, again, um, what is a game? So for me, a game is a uh, temporary reality that we consciously design uh, that has its own rules and objectives. And with that definition, you can set up anything as a game. You know, making a cup of tea can be gamified. You can make it into a game. Walking down the street to get a cup of coffee can be turned into a game. Having a chat with anybody can, have a, can be a game. When you're actually working from presence to say what's happening now, what, what do we feel like doing? And, and you're, it's more spontaneous, you're open to things that show up. And when you start to do that, especially when you start to live like that, as I've been living the game of now for 14 years, all sorts of adventures take place and you can uh, yeah, basically live life like an adventure game, uh, which has been fed back to me uh, many a time. So what I'm offering is for uh, 10 people who are interested in this to find out more that I will give an a initial one hour session where I will introduce that person to the game of now, its origins, how it works, how, it, uh, how to play the game. And then in the second session, it will be uh, focused specifically on them and their current life situation. What's happening in their life now? What, what do they want to do now? What are their... Uh, hopes, dreams, aspirations, what are their gifts? Are they using them? If not, why not? So it, is, it does take a kind of coaching format, but what is coaching really, apart from listening and supporting someone to realize his or her own gifts and how to bring them to the world? And uh, often people's gifts uh, you know, aren't the ones that were told in school or by their peers or by the current society, which values certain things. Whereas even something like being charming or being kind is a fantastic gift and how to make, turn that into a, a way of making a living. So yeah, that's my offer. Um, examples, I used to uh, do a lot of game design with a friend in the Netherlands and she may came up with a situation saying, I'm really struggling with my relationship with my partner. Can you create a game for me that allows me to look at you know, shame so I would work with her, listen to her, and then say, hey, okay, so for the next week, every day, specifically at 10 a.m., you sort of set an alarm and you work on it, and then you allow and you see, you take notes and so on. That kind of thing. And I've done things uh, out, out in the world where people go to certain spaces and they, they look, they, they start to see what's around them differently, perceive, be perceived, all of that. And I don't have to be physically with them, although I do offer games in person. And I'll be doing that on Andros in Greece, the island, over the coming months and, uh, and years. So, yeah, you've listened to this. Any questions, Elijah? Um, so, how long does it take? There's two sessions, one hour each, is that it? Yeah, one hour each, each session. Um, when it comes to the actual work itself for that person, then it's entirely up to them. So, so for example, when I'm playing myself, I will set... Because anyone who's creative knows that you set limits, you, you create the boundaries for creativity to happen. If you don't, it's just sort of drift along and go on and on, on. You say at 10 a.m. I'm going to start, and at 10 p.m. I'm going to finish. You've got that you know, 12 hour window to focus and see what comes out as you start to play. And then you become much more, uh, well, first of all, being open to what shows up in yourself and around you. And then also what, um, what emerges as an objective. And you'll know that it, the more you play, the, you realize ah, something's coming. I can feel it. And for me now, I just know where to find the, the, the gold. And, and often it's sort of just, a, just, just out of your, your awareness or suddenly a thought comes and you go, that's it. And, and off you go. 
So over the years, playing with people uh, in person, you know, many people's lives have been transformed because they suddenly wake up to the fact that they've been living someone else's life. You know, they've been living their parents' life or someone told them, oh, you should be a journalist. And, and they've been living that life, but it's a lie. And they wake up and say, no, I want to be a DJ. I want to be a photographer. I want to be a writer. I want to be a, you know, whatever. And then they get on that route. Okay. Thank you very much, William. My pleasure. Thank you.